<laughs> I already knew that was going to be a problem, but... So you shouldn't be laughing at that. Right, when are you ready? <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. What are we doing? <laughs> If this happens on my real test, I'm gonna cry. The instructor starts laughing. I'm gonna cry should, so hard. I should be more professional. Oh, okay, right. Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we have another mock driving test. Before we get started, any of you that need help with your driving lessons and want to save time and money, please check out this video for the ultimate driving course. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today's learner driver is a Chidera and guys for those of you who are watching for the first time the learners that turn up here They haven't had any lessons with me. Chidera is just um, here today for me to assess his driving I'm meeting him for the first time. He wants to find out whether he's ready for his driving test or not Yeah, and uh, any of you that um, do want to take part in these uh, mock tests they're obviously free of charge because you guys allow, allow me permission to upload them onto YouTube All you need to do is drop a message on Instagram at DJ and driving and we select people randomly and sorry we can't always reply to every single message okay Chidera so um, tell us a bit about your driving um, I've had I said 16 lessons okay um, one hour ones yeah one hour ones okay. so I started learning properly in I think March or April cool um, and I've got a test in November cool so, so about yeah. a couple of months away yeah, yeah a couple of months away so cool. do you feel ready good um, I haven't done like the show me tell me stuff. I haven't done that. Oh, you haven't done all, the show yeah. me tell me. Okay, we'll we'll leave that out today then. Yeah, but yeah. definitely definitely go through um, uh, through those. Yeah, with my instructor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then there's a couple of maneuvers I'm not super confident with. Which ones are those? I think the reverse parallel parking one. I haven't done that one properly. Okay. Yeah. Any others? Um, the other ones I should be fine. Cool. Well, should. So you know which one I'm going to make you do now. Yeah. yeah I should have said <laughs> that. Should I? Well, okay. Out. Right. So you know how the. Uh, videos work yeah you've uh, uh, you've obviously watched the videos before yeah so if you do make a mistake i won't say anything we'll discuss that at the end of the test yeah okay and um, for those of you watching any faults that your data makes will be highlighted and i will talk about them just before they happen so any serious faults will, will be in red text and any normal faults will be in amber text any questions before we start no oh, good can i adjust this mirror again yeah of course of course oh, don't worry one. this one's white Okay, so um, yeah, we're not going to be following the sat nav today. Yeah, I'm, I will make you follow some signs or direction signs. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And um, on your driving test, the examiner can make you follow the sat nav for 20 minutes or follow signs like we're going to do today. Okay, okay. But we'll be doing one maneuver and I may ask you to carry out the immunity stop as well. Yeah, okay, okay. If I don't say anything, just continue straight ahead. So, are we off when you're ready, please? <coughs> When stopping, Chidera gets a bit too close to the vehicle in front. You should be able to see the back tyres of the vehicle in front and some of the road. We call this the tyres and tarmac rule. That's quite shaky. The lights have taken a while. Almost fell asleep. But even after that long wait, Chidera wasn't fully prepared and is a bit slow when moving off. Just as we get to these lights, they turn red. He doesn't hesitate and makes a good decision to go as we had already passed the stop line. Come 
Coming up now is Chidera's first serious driving fault. He is falling the vehicle in front too closely. The falling distance at this point isn't too bad, but when the vehicle in front signals to park up, Chidera doesn't react quick enough. He stops way too close and when the vehicle begins to reverse, he is about to move off. Some of you may think that this is a bit harsh, but when you're driving, you should always be anticipating what could happen ahead. Now I'm going to ask him to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. That was funny. Oh, you yeah, idea. <laughs> Sorry? I kind of have an idea what you're going to ask me to do. What's that? In reverse parallel parking. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's so, just in front of that arm. Yeah. And so when you raise and finish up, yeah, just about a car length in between us and the, that car. So maximum this much space, yeah? Okay. Okay. Chidera picks up a serious fault for observations. He looks out of the back before reversing, but there are no blind spot checks. Not even when our vehicle swings out. Is it pull? Pull this way? Yeah. He ends up too close to the curb, so readjusts, but again there are no observations before moving forward or when reversing. He is still too close. You can hear the alloy wheel scraping along the curb. This was painful. Oh. Oh. Now he scrapes the wheel a bit more. We both knew this was quite bad and just couldn't stop laughing. Okay. <laughs> I already knew that was going to be a problem, but. So you shouldn't be laughing at that. Right? Whenever you're ready, you're going to be. That's so bad. That's so bad. What are we doing? <laughs> If this happens on my real test, I'm gonna cry. These drunks are just laughing. <laughs> I'm gonna I cry should, so hard. I should be more professional. Oh, okay, right. mate. okay, so whenever you're ready, if you could move off, please. Off. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> just straight, yeah? Yeah, straight for now and then at the end of the road, turn right, please. He shows good awareness by noticing this was a one-way street and selecting the right-hand side of the road to turn right. As you can see, our view is quite restricted at this junction, 
because of the building to our right. So it's best to stop and then creep forward until you have a good view before deciding to emerge out. Chidera rushes it slightly. Oops, I fell out. Now we are behind a bus, so Chidera should anticipate the bus stopping at a bus stop, so it should look out for signals and hold back. When the bus does stop, Chidera stops and blocks a crossing. He should have kept the crossing clear. He shows good awareness by noticing this giveaway sign and carrying out the correct observations. I've asked Chidera to follow signs to Kidderminster. When you see a direction sign, your turning will always be after the sign and not before. He gets a bit confused and slows down and affects the traffic behind. Uh, no, it's further on. Sorry, I was wrong. And at this roundabout, turn right, second exit, please. This roundabout, he approaches well, enters when it's safe, and carries out good observations before exiting. Now Chidera sees a pedestrian stepping onto the road while the lights at the crossing are still green and questions what she is doing. What are you doing, love? What are you doing, love? I was kind of thinking the same about his driving. This is a very nice car, by the way. Thank you. Shame the alloys don't look that nice now after that parking. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't say anything. As I was going to mention, I bumped into the pavement. Don't worry, I'll that's, try that again. That's happened many times before. Oh, okay. When moving off in traffic, you should check both side mirrors to look out for cyclists. He doesn't check. Here, Chidera makes a good decision to overtake the slow moving vehicle. He slows down slightly to get into the right hand lane, so should have dropped down to third gear to get more acceleration to overtake. And he does notice this, but instead of changing gear, he continues hoping the engine will do it. After overtaking, always remember to get back to the left hand lane. Now here he should be keeping a two second gap from the vehicle in front, but again gets too close. Definitely something Chidera needs to work on. Get the traffic lights to your left please. This roundabout he approaches well, but instead of keeping to the left lane, he drifts over into the right hand lane. And there was another vehicle approaching in that lane that had to hold back. And now if you could follow signs to Colesley. <laughs> got to Walsall, yeah. <laughs> when changing lanes here, Chidera notices the overtaking vehicle. He should let that vehicle fully overtake before steering to the right. He does get a bit too close. Mm -hmm. 
We are nearing the end of the test and now Chidera makes another three serious driving faults. When I ask him to park up, he's questioning whether he can park on the pavement or not, which takes up a few seconds. And by that time, he passes the safe area to park up at and is about to stop at quite a dangerous place as we are by a hill. I have to ask him to continue. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. On the left. On the pavement. Can I go on the pavement? That's up to you. Oh, God. These guys have gone on the pavement. Okay, carry on. Well, carry on? Yeah, carry on now, please. <laughs> now this is a very narrow road and Chidera is keeping a good position at the moment but then he sees an oncoming lorry and panics he steers to the left and clips the bushes I had to intervene you steer to the right, steer to the right oh steer to the right close to there. Yeah. A bit more to the right, please. Thank you. Oh, that was fine there. Okay, at the end of the road, if you could turn left, please. Here we have a stop sign. Jadero does stop, but well before the line, so we can't really see much. He should now edge forward and then stop and check until he has a clear view. But just like he did earlier, he rushes out, so this time I've marked it as a serious driving fault. We're going to end the test here. Let's find out what Chidera thought about his driving. Stop that. Turn the key off. Yeah, we're going to end the test here now. So if you just um, switch off the engine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good watch. That's what it is. Let's see that. Okay. I definitely failed. <laughs> you're just going to ask you how do you think you got on. <laughs> okay, so any idea what you failed on? I think the parallel parking gives that away. But with the driving itself, there was that time where I was too close to the left edge. Yeah, we were being to the lorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that that's, one, probably, yeah. that's probably another one. And then, other than that... Yeah, I'm struggling to think of anything else that I think I did wrong. But okay, there's cool. going to be more. Yeah, there's a few more things. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. let's talk about that parallel parking first, yeah. Okay, you did touch the curb, yeah. Okay, it was the alloy that was actually scraping across the, uh, uh, along the curb. Um, but then re you, you can readjust, yeah. If you mount the curb, that, that would be a serious sort of positioning. But mm. what I found you there for was your observations. Oh. Yeah? I okay. wasn't looking around. No, you've got to, like, um, if you've watched um, uh, my previous videos, yeah, you know when we do the parallel parking, yeah? Or any reversing mover where you stay and the car starts to swing out. Before it swings out, you should be checking the blind spot as well. Yeah, and your blind spot checks. Even when you move off, you do check here, yeah, but it's like... So, turn your head around and look, look out of that back, back window. Oh, the back there, window. There we go. Yeah? Uh, okay. You, what you're doing, you're just looking over over there. Yeah. Okay, so you've got to turn that head around and actually check that blind uh, blind spot area. Okay. Okay. And um, in the manoeuvre, yeah, that was there was there, there was hardly any blind spot check there yeah but even when you're readjusting so you know it's there's, there's no issue readjusting your position mm -hmm. but you've got to check around before you decide to go forward and before you decide to reverse again and we did that a couple of times but there were no observations just apart from that mirror okay, okay. so be careful about those observations mm -hmm. okay it's it, like i said there's no issue readjusting mm -hmm. you're allowed to do that but make sure you you care, you make sure it's safe to go forward and, and come back again. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the main things you need to improve in your driving area. It's just your planning and awareness yeah, ahead about what's going on ahead. Yeah. But you're making it a lot harder for yourself by following vehicles way too close. 
Okay, towards the end, when we were on the dual carriageway, when I should turn left of the light, she was following that silver car really close. So I did turn that one into a serious fault, yeah, mm -hmm. because we were driving around 30 miles an hour. The other times you were doing it, we were slower. So I marked that as a minor, yeah, but remember on that busy road when the car in front decided to stop and yeah, 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 and I yeah. had to. Yeah, it's break, like you, you're yeah. like, oh, what is that car doing? Yeah, but you were too close to me, yeah. and then. Um, as you started reversing, you, you were about to move off as well, mm -hmm. but then you did held off. I was like, I was about to tell you to stop, but then you like, you, um, you didn't move off then, yeah, okay, but that was too close to it. Um, and then when I asked you to stop somewhere, uh, I asked you to pull up in a safe place, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah the examiner's going to make you do that at least a couple of times. And obviously you were concerned, can I park on the curb? Can I, are you allowed to park on the curb? No. Nah. your test? No, you're not. No? Nah? Yeah. Okay, so... I said to you, I'm not going to help you out with that. What yeah, did I say? Yeah. I said it's up to you. It's up to me. Yeah, so that that took about, what, three or four seconds? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got um, more closer to the hill. Yeah. And there were two solid white lines there as well. Yeah. Which mean no overtaking in the middle of the road. And is that hill a safe place to pull up? No, it's not. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're not sure, just keep driving. Mm. Okay. Yeah. If you don't stop, the examiner can't fail you for that. You can say, oh, I didn't feel it was safe there. Yeah, you can stop like, five minutes later if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm going to ask you again. Okay. Okay? Yep. Cool. So, um, wow. yeah, need a bit of work doing. Nothing that, it, the, like, it can be sorted after, um, you still got a couple of months for your, yeah, for your test, test, yeah. yeah. But I think one of your main things, just that planning, yeah? Don't rush into situations, okay? And um, also, finally, your side mirrors. So whenever you stop, yeah? Um, in traffic and that, yeah, and you're moving off again, so you're waiting at lights, yeah. Make sure to look at your side mirrors. What are you looking for in the side mirrors? Anyone ever taken, yeah, uh, cyclists, yeah, yeah. And you were hardly checking those side mirrors, you were checking them when you had to change lanes and when I should turn left before you signal, you do, or when I should turn right as well, yeah, before you signal, you do check them. Your lane changes on roundabouts, you were doing them, but you know, when you're in you traffic stopped. and yeah. moving off. You, you're not bothering with them at all. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually bother. Okay. But yeah, that's it, okay. Okay. Right then. Any questions? Um. I think that that's probably what I needed to hear. Yeah. Cool. Right, Chidera, thank you very much for coming down to do the mock test, yeah, and for the amazing content you've given us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don't and guys, for this. <laughs> and guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.